I've had multiple bikes, I guess, for a while. Um, it is really nice to have more than one because riding just one bike for an extended period of time can most people get pretty old of they get pretty tired of the bike even if it's a fun bike um, you know even if you have like a thousand cc super super sport bike uh, it gets it just gets you get used to it right it's the same uh, riding position it's the same speed um, you know a, a lot of that speeds really not you're not really getting into the fun zone of that bike unless you're really revving it up high so uh, what well, you know they always say it's it's a lot more enjoyable to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow right so same same thing with bikes I think it's it's fun to have different bikes to ride or even just a different bike because it makes coming back to that bike kind of like a different experience again. And um, so that's kind of why I, you know, and both the bikes that I have are, are relatively, I mean, they're cheap bikes. Like I, I spent less than $3,000 on this bike, you know, and I've had it for eight years. And I spent $2,000 on my BMW, my big BMW 1200 that I have. So these bikes are completely different i mean the bmw you know weighs close to twice as much as this bike and um this bike is this bike is you know uh higher revving very lightweight flickable different riding position um and my bmw is like the opposite very big big fairing big windscreen you know, it has a CD player. It's got a bunch of car cargo space and luggage. So, um, but most people, you know, that have a bike, pro the, even one of their bikes probably costed, you know, it costs more than both of my bikes combined. And that goes back to my point about buying used bikes. You know, most people just don't use their bikes. So there's a big market of bikes that are tend to, you know, even five years old, I guess, but five to 20 years old that are in pretty good shape that just haven't been used. I mean, for example, I'm about to, I'm about to hit 42,000 miles on this 2007 FZ6. So, you know, that just tells you if you, you know, you shouldn't really be too scared of high mileage as long as the bike is in pretty good condition, you know. I had to put a new chain on this bike just recently. I mean, I didn't have to, but I got 40,000 miles out of the 15 year old chain. You know, I replaced the clutch cable and, you know, pretty much just doing oil changes and tires is like the only things I've done. So you can get a lot of life out of these things. And um, if you have, if you have enough room for two of them, then it's, uh, you know, jumping back and forth between one of them is, is pretty fun. So, that's what I would say. I mean, I got tired of, if I just was riding this bike, it's not that I get tired of it. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it gets, uh, it just kind of becomes like second nature, right? Because you're riding the same bike. And that's why people never really, put too many miles on the same bike is because they just get kind of sick of it and they trade it in for another one so I get that I actually really like this bike though I mean I, I guess I'm just so used to it that um, it just feels really natural to me to ride this bike but you know I could see how some people would just want to trade it for something so they could have a different riding experience because it does get, you know, everything is very, uh, everything is very usual. Everything is very, you know, nothing feels that new when you jump on a bike that you've ridden 30,000 miles on over many, many years. So, but that's, that's kind of the, the thing is like, hey, if you have more than one bike, you know, even if even if both the bikes are not really deemed to be fun bikes it's like hey it's just a different riding experience and you know it's kind of fun to jump between two different things 
and um, you know I wouldn't want to have two of like the same bikes like I saw a guy that had like five basically super sport bikes and uh, I guess I don't really understand that unless you're like a collector but if you actually ride the bikes I don't know why you'd want to have you know I, I wouldn't want to buy like a CBR 600 or a or a um, Ninja 600 because this is very similar to that it's not as fast but it's like the same style of bike so um, the two bikes that I have like I said are, are just completely different and one of them is definitely a touring bike and this one's more of like a city bike slash kind of shorter trip bike and I'm sorry I gotta put on my gloves it's a little chilly it's July but the uh, there's no Sun coming out this morning so there's a lot of cloud cover it's probably only like 50 50 58 degrees I'd say it's, it's relatively cold for a uh, summer morning but that's the same with everything you know if you if you if you just use one thing you're gonna get tired of it and um, I think motorcycles are no different See, this is the thing though, there's there's no one on the road right now. So that's kind of my two cents on it. I don't know, I mean, I think um, most people, you know, if you think about it, like let's say you're gonna spend $5,000 on a uh, motorcycle. I, you know, if you have the uh, space, then you could theoretically buy, like, you could really buy two motorcycles. Again, I got two motorcycles that have, I've put uh, over 50,000 miles on those two motorcycles alone and basically no problems. And um, to me, it's like, I think I'd rather have those two motorcycles than just one, than any one motorcycle. Again, just because jumping back and forth is pretty fun. Like, I haven't ridden this bike um, in close to a month. Like, I've been riding my 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 uh, K1200. But now I put that one back in the garage and I pulled this one out. And I've been... This is the first time I've ridden this bike in, like I said, probably a month to six weeks. And so it's fun, right? I, you know, I, I put like 1,500 miles on my... K1200 I think roughly I put 3,000 on it just uh, in the past two months but um, so I, I got to ride that bike quite a bit and do some longer trips on it you know several hundred miles and then anything kind of around town or just kind of putting around I, I tend to take this bike out it's not overly fun riding a big touring bike if you're just going like to the store because it's it's kind of a hassle to park the thing and it it definitely feels more like a car because it's really big but like I said it's just fun to have different options especially when they're cheap And this bike is so smooth. Like it's not it's not overly fast at all. But like I said, anything faster um, for me, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, this bike has very a very smooth delivery of power. It's not overwhelming. Um, you know, around like 8,000 RPM, you get a really good pull. And you know, I, I have ridden 1,000 cc's. My brother has a ZX14 that's been giving him a bunch of problems lately. But uh, it's nothing like that. You know, that type of power, I would get in trouble. It's way too fast. 
Uh, anyone riding that bike is going to get in trouble. Uh, because even just twisting the throttle, like if I'm doing it right now, I barely accelerate. His bike or a thousand cc super sport if you just twist the throttle i mean it's almost like a it's like a harley davidson with the torque on the low end very torquey and then once you get to seven eight thousand rpm on that bike oh my god you are really going it's it's very scary the amount of thrust i mean i only feel comfortable when i feel like i can control how fast i'm going and the acceleration when I get on that bike, I feel like it's kind of in other people's hands. I'm kind of like, you know, I don't really know how fast I'm going here. And I don't really feel comfortable that I could stop uh, if I needed to. Because I'm going, my rate of acceleration is very, very high. And I don't have the confidence or, the, or really even the desire to go that fast, you know. I just like being on two wheels and um, going places and having the wind... You know, feeling that, the feeling of being on a bike, I don't necessarily need to be going, uh, you know, anywhere near 100 miles an hour. Some people, you know, have to be going that fast. Um, and those bikes will definitely do it, but, you know, I think the fastest I've gone, I, I you know, I think is like 120 on this bike. And to me, I didn't want to go any faster than that. I, I very rarely even go over like 85. Um, because I, I just, you know, it's 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 more than I can handle. But anyways, uh, that's kind of the video, just talking about nothing really. And um, let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather have two bikes, or maybe you're the type of person that, you know, you want a nicer bike and you only want one. But I guess my point is, a lot of people get one bike that's maybe ten thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars you know a nice bmw or something but then they end up getting sick of it anyway and they get something else so um to me it's not really about like i guess how nice the bike is or how expensive it is like my dad has harleys and those are a lot more expensive but i would argue like that I'd almost rather ride a $3,000 bike than a Harley. Like, it's just as fun to me. And you can obviously get a lot more bikes um, for a lot less money if you buy used and if you buy, you know, non-American and probably not a BMW. But you can get, you know, like I said, I've got a BMW for two grand. It's going to be 15 to 20 years old. But... Uh, they're still really fun to ride and it's a different experience. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe you only have one bike, but maybe you have two bikes and you could probably have four or five bikes for the price of one bike if you were smart about how you bought it. So that's the video guys and ride safe and uh, have a great day as always.